All right, roguelike roulette, I did not enjoy that last one. Give me something a little bit better. And we have... Dungeon of the Endless. All right, I'll take it. I like Dungeon of the Endless. Play Guild of Dungeoneering. I've already beaten that game. There is nothing left on Guild of Dungeoneering that would hold my interest. I should probably add Dungeon Souls back, but I don't know. I don't know if I enjoyed it, Dungeon Souls enough to play any more of it than I already have. Okay, let's cue that up. We're getting a lot of repeats here already, which is weird because, like, I have, like, a shit ton of options, and what's next? Kingsway? <laughs> it's where the roulette stops a bit at 20xx and keeps going. Maybe next time, every time. I know, they send me a key, even. They're really nice. They're like, yeah, here's a, here's a key for 20xx. Cover it whenever you can. And I'm like, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, new game. And this time I don't have to futz over it so much. Or maybe I do, anyway. Uh, let's see, do I do too easy or easy? This game kind of kicks my ass. Uh, one way or another. Okay, we did the infirmary pod. Four powerful heroes at start. Some weapons. No additional heroes. No modules. Except food. No offensive or industry modules can be re researched. Okay. I haven't actually done these. Well, do we have any that I want to unlock? Okay, research all the modules. Level 1 in the winning game. So I should probably try and get that one. What do I need for this one? Never have the crystal lose HP in a winning game. Drill pod is unwinnable. Reach floor 24. Sanitary pod sounds problematic. Can't be unpowered. Damage model modules and artifacts. Produce half food per door open. Reduce monsters defense by 100%. Monsters are faster. Modules can't be repaired. Organic pod seems really interesting. But also really scary. I mean, we could just go endless mode. But I would like uh, to unlock some pods here. Let's see, no modules except for food. I, let's let's leave the armory pod. I mean, honestly, it's my main temptation to just play like a totally regular run. We didn't do that last time and I, I want to. So who's some really good characters? We need two. I like having healers in the mix. Uh, can I check his abilities from here? Because I really liked having... Um, Medic, last time. I mean, we could just go for the TF2 two mix. Rosetta Q. Only play with the TF2 characters. I guess we could do that. Sure, why not? Get out of here, Josh. Let's do... Uh, Roll TF2. Do I just want to do that? Why not? So, this will be interesting, and we're on too easy. Didn't I do that last time? I had half of the mix last time. Now it's just the TF2 team in their entirety. Okay. I don't remember the rules for this thing. We'll have to find out. I should probably see what their abilities are. So he he fixes stuff. Easy enough. Momentum. He heals. Group therapy. Magical rainbow fire. 
Damage radius, burn damage over time, burn damage over time duration. Okay, sure, why not? So what do I have that I can make? I can make food. Is that all? Wow, that might actually be all I'm going to be able to make here. Well, this will be interesting. Yeah, I rather like this game. I had fun when we played it previously. Okay, so I can get pepper spray. Oh, okay, so some of some of the offensive modules will actually be uh will actually be pretty effective. Pepper spray specifically is actually really good. Let's see, field medic. Adds defense. Eh. I mean, we don't have any science to begin with anyway. But I should actually power some of these rooms. And probably just get some more food. More food processors. What else am I going to spend my industry on anyway? Okay, while we're here, let's just start leveling up my uh, heavy. Probably my heavy is the main healer. We found the exit. Let's just keep going this way for a little while. It feels weird to play as just the TF2 characters. At the same time, oh well. Okay, I should probably keep these guys here. There's no, like, baseline benefit. I guess I'll have Pyro open up all the doors. From here on out. Leave the NG in, in the room with the module. Can he operate stuff from the from get-go? He can repair. I don't think he can operate yet. I think that's... I thought that's something you have to unlock. Gear check. Repair damage modules. Even during the fight. Monsters don't slow down the hero. Okay, so Pyro absolutely is our... Is our gopher. And we got a rice wind. Which none of these characters can use, apparently. Alright. Uh, let's see. Pyro, go open some doors. Let's see. Judging from the color schemes, this is during or after Man vs. Machine. Uh, this... The crossover DLC, I believe, was made specifically uh, for Man vs. Machine as kind of like a cross-promotion thing at the time. Back when people actually cared about TF2. I mean... I, I'm being a bit dramatic here. People, people do care about TF2. This is really slow. So what's the top right room? I don't know, there might have been something in there. Might have been. I'm just gonna hold on to my industry, I think. Nope, the next door. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing that. And we'll run back. No critters will hold me down. Oh, there is actually there is something in here, maybe. I'll have to take a I'll have to take a look at it. I kind of miss uh the heyday of TF2. I never really got into it myself. Um, uh, but it seemed it always was kind of this charming uh you know, team based shooter. Oh, I see. Just free science in here. Alright, well. Power a bunch of rooms. Get back here. Who do I level up? Probably keep leveling the heavy. Oh! I didn't realize, but we've actually got equipment for everyone. And I just didn't throw it on anybody. Can I not, uh... 
Can I not drag these up? Okay, so we, we lose whatever starting equipment we have. Because I can't carry with me. Alright, whatever. But yeah, I do rather... I don't know. I just really enjoyed watching the community of TF2. Overwatch always felt like it was too... I, it was closer to... Uh, MOBA... Like, culture. Than it was, uh, like, TF2 culture. Not that, like, it ever really mattered. It was just kind of... I could see it from afar. From where I was, that it wasn't quite as, uh... Friendly. I don't know. Maybe it is. Anyway, stupid blue guy. Drill too deep and we end up here. Now calm down a little fella. They got Hyperium and Adamantium. Yeah, they must have Australium. I, I can't. I can't do the TF2 voices. I'm just going to read them normally. It is scientific no logic. <laughs> Overwatch prevents you from calling people stupid. Really now. used to play uh, a lot of I used to play a lot of TF2 to some degree with my uh, with my frat members and um, let's see field medic I guess we'll start on field medic get that out of the way uh, it was just generally in good fun I guess but there were some just dumb memes that we picked up as a result of it. For whatever reason, one guy would, uh... I don't even know. He was, like, one of the alumni that would play with us. <coughs> and he would always play, like, the Russian National Anthem every single time. He didn't even play heavy. He just... He just... He was a weird dude, I guess. Let's see, do we have any other build spots now? Yes. Let's see. Anything in there? Nope. Okay, good. Now, this game is just nice and relaxing. This was the this was one of the roguelikes that I, I'm happy to have uh run into tonight. Oh, let's see. I'm just going to leave NG in there. Move the rest down. He'll keep that room powered at least for a little while. Let's see. Speaking of, I can level up my dudes. Uh, I'm probably going to switch between leveling up Pyro. Spoonfuls of Love. Heroes in room attacks without making, it, uh, making any damage, except for over time like fire. Attacks with that what? I'm very confused about how spoonfuls of love even functions. I'm also very confused because he doesn't do damage. Okay. Well, comparatively, Heavy does a stupid amount. So we'll just use him. Okay. Well, let's get this door open. Let's see. What's in here? Meat? Oh, yeah, it's like a it's like a table with with food on it. That was confused. I will only deal damage over time. So burn run use the ability. Makes sense. Oh, science creator. Hopefully I can get enough of that. Yeah, I don't know. I just find this game nice and relaxing compared to many other roguelikes. What's this one? Floor defense times zero. Eh. That that's gonna make much of a difference. 
Run, Pyro. There we go. <sighs> but yeah, this is... I think this has got to be, like, the most ro uh, relaxing roguelike on the market. By, like, a not insignificant uh, amount. I mean, I'm, I might be exaggerating here a little bit, but this is just, like, such a, a zen game to pick up every every once in a while. I don't even care if I win or lose. I mean, to some degree, it would be nice if there was, like, a deeper me meta progression system uh, just to give me a reason to care a little bit more. But I don't. Let's see, Majael is the most relaxing. And I haven't actually played enough of Majael to really say whether or not I consider it to be extremely relaxing. Majael is... For better or worse, Tales of Majael is not a pretty game. And that will always make it a lot harder on me. Uh, to be excited about it. It is just... It is too ugly. Let's see, you like this game a lot. You're too poor to get it. It goes pretty cheap. Let's see, did I add the Organic Matters DLC? Uh, to this, or... Uh... To this, or the other one? First Aid Kit. Unlocks Placebo. I'm just gonna put it on him for the time being. Placebo. Okay, health regen as long as you're near the dock. I think that's fair. I think I've got the I think I've got the DLC. I'll uh I guess I can double check. Well they fight. I mean it's not like it matters. Dungeon the Endless. Death Gamble. Yeah. Organic matters update. I'd love it if they made a second one of these. Like, the dis the difference between Endless Space 1 and 2 was kind of absurd, and I'd love to see what they could do with, you know, uh, Dungeon the Endless 2 along the way as well. But you can get Dungeon the Endless for a dollar now. Really? Is that just on the Steam store, or is it a sale elsewhere? Looks like an, it's an external sale. That's a good deal. Definitely worth a dollar. Oh, dang it. Okay, so we can get Dove 2-2. Two, two. I don't know what group therapy does. I'm going to buy a Dove. Group therapy do. Oh. He's already got the group therapy ability. Oh, right, it's on Humble Bundle. Yeah, I remember now. Okay, I'm gonna take the dove off. Yeah, no remaining closed doors. Can I double up on group therapy? I don't know if I can double... I don't know if I can double up on the group therapy effect. It doesn't look like it does. Yeah, it doesn't look like it works. Yeah, I gave... I gave, uh... The Medic Archimedes, but... It, it doesn't look like, uh... It will do anything, unfortunately. Well, I think we're good. But yeah, I, I guess as a uh, reminder to ev everybody watching this, if you uh, if you like Dungeon the Endless in any way, shape, or form, uh, it's on sale at the uh, at Humble Bundle. I totally forgot about that. Go get it. It's absolutely worth it. And let's get out of here.
is weird. Why are we teaming up? No robots here. Only strange bugs. Yeah, definitely man versus machine. I'm kind of missing good old demo man. He'd clean up right quick. Y'all got some meds for your pal? She makes me a bit antsy. Or he makes me antsy. Or whatever. <laughs> they even acknowledge it. That's cute. Yeah, unfortunately, I have no reason to buy the uh, the strategy humble bundle. I already own every game in the mix, so it's like mm, not really the most helpful for me. Okay, I'm just gonna keep pumping food into into the heavy. Is by far, I think the strongest DPS DPS in this game. Like, hands down. It paid $12 for Endless Space too. Absolutely worth it. I mean, pretty much every Humble Bundle and uh, Humble Monthly Bundle that ever goes by, it is absolutely worth picking them up. Even if you're not going to play the games eventually, like, the sheer value crammed into them is worth it. I guess maybe if you were extremely, uh, if you're extremely, uh, good at your timing, you could probably, maybe, uh, get stuff for even cheaper if you just waited long enough. That'd be tough, though. That'd be tough. Nail gun. I guess I should probably figure out who the nail gun goes for. Actually, it doesn't look like anybody can use the nail gun right now. Oops. Let's see, do I bother with more... Yeah. I'm gonna keep bothering with more food gen. I barely have any industry generation, but it doesn't matter. Okay, there's the science module. Creator. And it looks like the layout is perfectly fine here. Yeah. Also, uh, I guess kind of passive shout out to this game beyond what I've already done. After I did my uh, my videos on it, my streams, uh, the first time it rolled rolled by on the roguelike roulette, uh, the I think one of the lead developers uh, sent me a key via key mailer for uh, for the DLC, which I already had, but I mean it was nice. I don't know. I love it when developers are really nice to me. Let's see, do we go more food? Yeah. Uh, or do I save the industry for the next floor? I'm gonna save the in uh, industry for the next floor. I don't know what we have left. Or maybe check it on science. I don't, hard, hard to tell. I'll just save the industry for the next floor. Can't have that, that much left. I'd definitely love to see another game. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't even have to be, like, uh, the same as this game. I just... The soundtrack for this game... Uh, I guess we, at this point I would say it's slightly inferior to the Endless Space 2 soundtrack. Because that soundtrack is a masterpiece. But I absolutely adore the, uh, the visual style for this game. I think the only other, like, pixel art games that have come close, in my opinion, have been, like, um... Not many. Uh, I guess the easy, easy comparisons would be like... Maybe, uh... Hyperlight Drifter, I guess? Hard to say. Okay. We've got a guy. He's got an Eviscerator. A Lucky Rabbit's Foot. A Battlefield Injector. Energy Bar. Unlocks Operate. HR Manual. Team Spirit. Costs food, so I can kind of get whatever I want. I don't think the Eviscerator's... Oh, wait, no. Looks like the Eviscerator is a... Straight-up upgrade. So let's grab that. Do I care too much about the Lucky Rabbit's Foot? A bunch of extra HP would be kind of nice. Don't care about Operate. 
I'll get the HR manual, I think. Okay, so we, we already have the uh, the Eviscerator. What's Team Spirit do? Exact perfect. Attack power plus 15 if not alone in the room? <laughs> His DPS is so freaking dumb. Oh, I love it. Let's see, I wonder if uh, Valve gave permission for this. Yep, it was a cross-promotional thing, actually. Whoops, wrong character. Uh, there's actually several cross-promotional uh, products kind of snuck into this game. I think there was something about, like, Australian Rescue or something kind of odd. Okay, Crawler. Not noticed by monsters, except with a crystal. Oh. Scuttling level. Legendary. Cute. Where's Gaben in this game? It would be amusing if Gaben was, was a creature in this game. I... How many of you guys have seen, uh... Seen or played Wonderful 101? Uh, there's... At the very end of the game, if you've, like, done a bunch of things... I don't remember how hard he is to get. But you can get the, uh, the director of Platinum Games as... As one of your, uh... As one of your companion characters. Well, we found the, uh... We found the, uh, the right way there. Um... But so you could actually get the uh, director of, of Platinum Games as one of your characters. And he was... Yeah, Kamiya is an unlockable... Uh, but he's also really trash. Like, he's absolutely terrible compared to the, everybody else. I think he had a couple of, like... Unique moves or something. But comparatively, he's, like, not a good character. <laughs> um, I think he's, like, really slow and he dies really fast or something to the extent of that. Which I think is really clever. Yeah, he dies in one hit. <laughs> I think they also had, like, Bayonetta and a couple other ones. Oops, I should have been reading the dialogue, I'm sorry. Like Dawson. Not boy is sounding saner and saner. You watch your tongue, not boy's friend is watching you. Or not girl, hmm. You really are playing up the gender differences there. Okay, well I'm making good time. So this time, let's just plonk down the science creator. I need that a little bit more than food. Maybe? Probably. If I ever want to get the uh, the better food generator. We find a merchant right off the bat. Milspec bracelets. Hello. Industrial engine. So, he's got the HR manual. So, HR manual is actually better on the heavy. Mil spec's pretty good, though. On somebody. Maybe the engineer? I'm also not sure what uh, Steamroller does. Let's see. Who's got the lowest defense here? And a nobody. Because I should probably get the uh, guard uniform on one of them. Probably the NG. And then I'll probably save up for the industrial engine. Okay. Oh. Don't open the door. Ah. Well, no. Open the door. Don't talk to the merchant. That's what I was going for. What was with that weird lighting bug? Never seen that before. I guess I can move a lot of them in here. This this room comes pre-lighted and it looks like there's a food replicator spot directly behind him. Yeah, there is. 
Everything is ridiculously, uh, dark in here. Oh, what do we got? Food replicator level two. Sure. Uh, can't power that room. I guess I'm just gonna move the NG in there. It'll just guard it. Kinda suck if it got blasted. Oops. And yeah, not getting a whole lot of money on this one. Comparatively, it'd be lovely if I could bring my dust with me from room to room. Or room to room, floor to floor. It'd actually be really nice if uh, they'd almost kind of... ...plan for that. I guess actually I'm gonna take the NG back. Let's, let's see what else I can research now that I've got the uh, upgraded food replicator. Upgraded science creator. Oh, that's fair. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to afford it this run. Let's see, what difficulty is this? Too easy. I... I am... too tired, I think. And also, I'm just not very... like, I'm okay at this game. But I don't think I will ever be per particularly compelled to play on a harder difficulty. Maybe if it shows back up on the roulette again, I'll turn it up a little bit. Oh shit, he is getting walloped. That's a problem. Uh, well, he's got a prison uniform, but it's... Pretty bad, huh? Yeah, he got... Well, I guess what I'm supposed to use do is use his ability. If he starts getting walloped, all I have to do is just uh, nuke their damage. So... I do wish that you could actually command characters where to go. Along the way. Okay, do we get another food harvester? Or a food replicator? Probably. I've got the industry for it, and we do need the food. Uh, let's see, can I level him up? No. Because if he's going to be my gopher, I should probably actually start leveling up with the pyro. Always kite with the pyro. I'm just using him as my... My, uh... My scout. I'm actually kind of disappointed that they didn't add the, the entirety of the... TF2 cast. I totally understand why they they did what they did, but it would have been lovely to have more characters. Let's see, can I... I'm gonna turn down the sound effects a little bit. The Heavy is kind of loud when he shoots, and I really am here for the music. That did not uh, go down as much as I thought. Let's see, what ship is Wanderer running? Uh, I'm running the... I'm running the ship that makes it so you can't get any more heroes or do industry or attack modules and stuff. Spy would be useless in this. Probably, yeah. Spy would definitely be on the, the lower lower tier. Let's see, do we want more food? More food. Because I think one more door and we can start the research on the, the second level science thing. Spy, sniper, and demo. Useless in dungeons. Eh, I would I would argue that demo man would be amazing, amazingly useful here. I'm going to bring heavy down. Okay. Yeah, these guys aren't terrible. I wish the NG could actually plonk down a, a turret. Maybe he does get the ability to do so later. I'm probably just going to keep focusing on the pyro at least for a little while. Uh, this is awkward.
See, would I consider Dark Souls 2 a chill game? E no. But also, yes. You know, in retrospect, I could probably just leave Heavy up here. Dude has Sandwich, so he can heal himself. Dark Souls 2 is very chill if you're playing with friends. If you're playing alone, not, not so chill. Okay, now I can just move the NG down here. There we go. Problem solved. Guess let's uh, start researching the next thing. Science creator. But yeah, I, I find Dark Souls to be an incredibly relaxing experience when I'm playing with uh, my friends. It can get frustrating here and there, you know, losing against bosses, getting invaded and whatnot. But almost always it is a... a chill experience. Okay, let's go back. We have a hell of a lot of dust, so I can bring him down. How are these two rooms? What I really want to play, actually, would be a Dungeon of the Endless game that played more like Orcs Must Die. Holy shit, that would be amazing. Uh, so, you know, more focused on trap placement than, than hero power. Oh, I would play the crap out of that. I just want to play an Orcs Must Die style roguelike someday. Probably be hard to do, but it'd be really nice. Okay, so operate. Let's send NG down. So he'll work on that. Because yeah, I really, I really loved Orcs Must Die too. I thought it was such a, such a fun game, and it was always a bit of a shame uh, that they went with Orcs Must Die. Unchained. <sighs> I don't know. I'm just grumple about that. You mean every tower defense game? Eh, eh, eh. Kind of varies. Okay, so there's the last door. Wow. <laughs> we can power. I mean, if I want to be a complete cheese nugget, I could actually just plonk the NG back here and then just walk very slowly out of this dungeon. Let's see, Skyrim or any Bethesda game is a super chill game. You clearly have not played Fallout Frost. Holy crap. That is a stressful experience. Okay, let's get the uh, mil spec bracelets. I thought I bought the mil spec bracelets. I guess it didn't. I'm very confused. I guess we ended up with a bulletproof vest on top of it all. Well, it slows him down a little bit, but it definitely gives him some more defense. Okay, works for me. Let's see, so who is by far the fastest character now? One... I guess technically the medic. That's probably fine. I love Frost is a shitty mod. I loved Frost. I really enjoyed Frost. Actually, uh, I really want to play Skyrim again, honestly. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna get the chance to, but I want to do a, another one of my like uh, Skyrim playthrough. Well, do like an actually finishable Skyrim playthrough. Um, what I want to do is is uh, see if I can get a mod that makes it play kind of like Frost. I just hate how like meaty all the enemies are and the like stupid level scaling. So we find Australium or we find Dust and we go back to kill robots, yes? Yep, more gun, less robot. All these things would be easier with that little scout to go find it. But ah, uh, I'm getting very tired of this baseball trivia. All right. 